third video to my Father's Day series, and today we're going to be making cake fries. So this will complete the whole tailgate party meal. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> okay, so for your cake fries, you're going to need sliced pound cake, preferably frozen, one cup raspberries, one tablespoon lemon juice, that's optional, a serrated or wavy knife. Um, I tried to find one of these in my local Bed Bath & Beyond, but I just couldn't find one on time, so I just settled for this one that I have in my kitchen. However, I did later find out that they sell them at Walmart in different colors. So if you really want one of those, go check it out. I put a link down below in the inbox, or in the info box. A one cardboard fries holder, an empty generic ketchup squeeze box, and five tablespoons of ketchup. <laughs> Just kidding guys, that would be disgusting to mix with raspberries. So first you're going to take out your pre-sliced pound cake and take out four slices or however many you would like and you're going to stack two on top of each other or three depending on how much you have and I found it easier just to stack them and line them up and then slice them horizontally just to make the process quicker and I'm using my serrated knife of course to cut down horizontally to make french fry shapes. Then you're going to take your french fry shapes after you've done cutting all of the pound cake and you're going to want to cut off as much of the brown part of the pound cake as you possibly can. Now the reason why you do this is because you don't want the pound cake to burn when you put it in the oven. So try to cut off as much as you possibly can and then discard of all the scraps or you can just eat it. <laughs> Then you're gonna set your oven to about 350 degrees and while that's heating up, you're going to take your little french fry shapes and you're going to put them onto a baking pan. Now be careful when you're picking up your cake shapes because uh, these can tend to be a little fragile and could possibly break apart, so just be careful. Now after your oven has heated up, you're going to pop it in the oven for about 10 minutes. Now while those are baking, we're going to go ahead and make the raspberry sauce, aka ketchup, for the cake fries. And you're going to go over to your blender and dump in the cup of raspberries. Then if you want to, you can also add a splash of lemon juice just to give it some depth. And I didn't show this, but I also added some agave syrup just to make the ketchup sweeter and not as sour. Then you're going to take your ketchup bottle and you're going to pour in the raspberry mixture into the ketchup bottle and it should pour out as smoothly as this. And then you have your ketchup. Then after about five or six minutes through the process of your cake being baked, I would suggest um, going in the oven and turning it with um, some baking utensils just so that it gets evenly brown on all sides of the fries. Then once the cake fries are done uh, baking for the full 10 minutes, they should be as brown as this, not too burnt. I think I burnt mine just a little bit, but that's okay because they were nice and crunchy. And then you're done with your cake fries. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, and post on Twitter and Instagram if you make these. And don't forget with the hashtag baking with savvy. And please continue to stay tuned for more baking videos, okay? Thanks guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Okay, bye.